put his hand in his hand and put it away. Patience, it away. patience, my good woman. <laughs> Yes. Like really cute. Yes. Just be patient. Jeez. <gasps> Is that him? <gasps> Skylar the human. Meet George the guinea pig. Oh my god. Hey there, buddy. Hey, dang. You're so cute. You're just with me. <laughs> you know, I always wondered why they call them guinea pigs. I mean, they're obviously not pigs, and. I am pretty sure they're not from Guinea, so... That's kind of racist, dude. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, Guinea is a country from Africa, and they're using the word pigs. So it's kind of like they're calling their people pigs. It's kind of racist. I highly doubt that's what they had in mind really? when they named the animal. Yeah. Well... <laughs> I still think that they should come up with a different name for them. Why? Because it sounds racist. But it's not. It's just the name of the animal. Oh my gosh, don't tell me you're one of those people that's like uh, super sensitive to man. offending things. I'm not. I just know when something sounds offensive. But it's not. It's like calling a black guy black. Just because you are call him black doesn't mean you feel negatively towards him. It kind of does. No, it doesn't. Acknowledging something exists doesn't mean you're offending it. But you should still be mindful of what you say. <sighs> My gosh, you are one of those people. Okay. Mm. So, the Washington Redskins, mm. should they change their name? Yes, because it's offensive to Native Americans. And people shouldn't have to put their race on their government documents. Yeah. Acknowledging something exists is not the same thing as offending it. But you should still be mindful of what you say. Okay, tell me this. You know Disney's Song of the South? Mm -hmm. Racist or not? Of course it's racist. The Native Americans in this movie are being portrayed as happy and conscious slaves. Slaves! The people oh. in this movie are not slaves. The film takes place after slavery was outlawed. They're paid workers. But they're still being ported as happy and content with their situation. Of course they're happy. They just stop being slaves. Ah. Why do people get so offended over things that aren't offensive? They may not be to you, but they may be to some people. But who are you to judge that? Who are people like you to hear something and then say, this offends a group of people I in no way represent. Let the people who might actually be getting offended do the complaining. But tell me, what good would that do? It doesn't stop them from being insulted. What good would it do? It would give us a clear definition of what's insulting or offensive and what's not. If we just live every day of our lives worrying about who we might offend or not offend, we're going to be so caught up in that, we're not going to live our lives like normal people. 